Woke up at 165.6. Another no low weigh-in. Physique looking really good. I'm headed right now to my local gym, uh, Powerhouse. Not to train right now, but to get my body fat checked because I don't have my scale that does check the body fat. Still trying to get communication with my roommate, my old roommate or one of my friends who has my scale there to give it, bring it back to me. Otherwise, I have the shitty one right here that I bought in a previous clip. I'm gonna go to Walmart, or I mean, I go to Walmart, go to Powerhouse, check it out, come back home, take my brother to the doctor's office, and then start the video for today. Yeah, yeah. You wanna know how I got so dope, losing my control. Yeah, yeah. Now you wanna know why I got so cold, got me feeling old. You wanna know how I got so dope, losing my control. What's up guys, back here with another commentary and today I'm going to share with you guys my overall thoughts on how well I'm doing so far into the cut. For program wise, I'm keeping the same program I kept in my bulk, I just don't want to change anything because I feel like that's where it got me to somewhere and I want to utilize that and I want to keep going down, I want to keep my strength up there. So far my strength is really high which and it's been the same so I'm really happy with it. Last time on my cut at this time, I was losing a little bit of strength, which I was really stressed about, and then that even made it worse. As macros, my macros are still the same, 230 protein, 50 grams of fat, and about 200 grams of carbs, but so that's roughly about 2,200 calories. It's been the same, haven't changed anything yet since the last time I talked to you guys about it. No cheat meals yet. My weight has still been dropping, it's still fluctuating a little bit, so it's still dropping a lot of water weight. I discussed with my coach recently that this offseason I did gain a little bit of unwanted weight, unwanted water weight or unwanted fat, where next time I'm, my, I realize that my next bulk, I won't be going this aggressive, I won't be shoving down food, I won't be saying I gotta grow, I gotta grow, I'm gonna ease my bulk in, because when I did come back from college, I decided to amp up my bulk, increase more calories to get that weight up, because in college I was struggling to get the weight, I was stuck at 150, but... When I got home, I jumped up 20 pounds out of nowhere. So I guess adding that extra food did do that. So I'll catch you guys in the next commentary, the next update. Probably every few videos I'm going to do this. If you like this, please let me know. And guys, enjoy the rest of the video. Okay guys, so I just finished the workout. Had a nice leg session we're going on right now. I have the little, if you like the little voiceover of me describing how the prep was, how it's going right now, three weeks in. Today, you saw the clip earlier how I woke up at 165, really low, still losing a lot of water, right? Discussing with my coach actually that I actually put on a lot of weight this off season, which is unnecessary. So, next off season, I won't be packing on that much weight. This going easily, not rushing the weight size. Right now, I'm gonna help my parents out with stuff for their work and business, and catch you guys when I get home, have a meal number three, which is the same thing chicken, rice, the bro meals. So, catch you guys when I'm at home. I just arrived home. Right now, I'm actually gonna have my next meal already prepped out for me. Pretty epic, right? Prepped out six ounces of chicken, 100 grams of rice. Gonna eat this with a little bit of Tabasco sauce. And then head back to the mall around six, seven o'clock ish to help my parents out once again. Right now, we're just there deciding what to do and what to move because they're closing down one of the locations. So I gotta help them move the stuff out. They did it before, they didn't move it back in. It's a long story, but long story short, today is the last day, so they need help. So I'm going back to the mall later, but I had to come home because I was really hungry and I was tired of keep buying sushi every other day. It gets expensive, you know? Catch you guys after this meal, probably with another meal before I leave. Okay, so this is around seven o'clock right now. I'm actually really hungry. Not like starving hungry, but I'm hungry. So I decided I'm gonna have a light snack and we're out of strawberries. Shit. Yeah. Well, out of fruit, the 
fruit I like actually. I love strawberries during prep. Got a banana, but I'm not in a banana mood right now. So I decided I'm gonna have some oatmeal. I know I had it in the morning. Don't hate, but sometimes you gotta eat what you gotta eat. So I'm gonna take this and I make some. And there you guys go. Some fresh oats. Instead of having strawberries, I had to compensate, 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 whatever that word is, with some oats. And I have this meal, finish some more water out of this magic gallon, and then, you know, head out. It's about roughly, I said, seven o'clock. My dad said be there by six, but my mom said we can go a little later. It's not a problem. It's not a long job, she said. So I trust her too. So yeah, catch you guys in the next meal or at the mall. Okay, guys. So I'm back from the mall. Helped my parents out. It was a really, really stressful thing to moving their stuff around. But thanks to my friend uh, Beacon, I have a link down below for his channel for actually helping us move everything out of the way, made everything more su sufficient, more easy, less hectic, going back and forth, having all the boxes go from one store to another. But I had one more meal in the meantime. I learned actually right now that I sh I'm showing you guys less, less content. I'm just saying, but I'm not doing. So in this video, the next clip, I will be showing you guys more and more rather than just saying I did that, but, I didn't, but I'm not showing you I did that. You know what I'm trying to say, guys? sorry so I went to the mall helped them out got Chipotle and one thing letting you guys know is something's gonna change is starting next week after the first four weeks of the prep I will be not I will not be having any more outside food meaning the flexible dieting will turn into a strict dieting I know it's against my principles I'm a flexible dieter a big believer in flexible dieting but I want to be as accurate as possible with my meals so We'll take be taking that out. So I'll catch you guys tomorrow. I'm probably gonna have a shake before I sleep tonight. I didn't have my shake yet. I just like holding it off till the end of the day. But see you guys in the next clip. Would be tomorrow morning. Okay, guys. So it's the next day. I just got out of work. Had a nice workout today. Chest and biceps with a little bit of delts. Didn't want to record it because I wanted to get out. And it just took today's work. Yeah, it took a little time because three weeks in for me, I'm getting used to the diet again. For me, when I was bulking, I was really more free. And like I stated yesterday, I will be getting more strict with the diet pretty soon. So flexible will be like going out of the way, and strict is coming inside. So right now, I'm about to have my next meal. But sadly, I just remembered I forgot my lunchbox where I have all my meals in at at work. So now I have to compensate and make a different meal at home. To adjust my macros one cool thing is for working in the gym or for where I work in I get free bagels and free bread and all all the bread and stuff by Thomas so like I get all the my bread for free from a guy who works there and brings it to me every day so I don't have to worry about <laughs> bagels um, English muffins and all that the, you know, the wheat carbs the complex carbs except I wish I had free oatmeal so I'm gonna have my next meal and I'm gonna take you guys with me to do some errands today. Cause I know I said yesterday, I'm gonna take you guys wherever I go now to add, make them make the vlog more exciting. So I'll catch you guys right after this meal. I almost forgot. I forgot to show you guys what I'm actually eating. Like I said, show you guys more of my stuff. So right now, like I said, six ounce. I have seven ounces of chicken actually right here. 150 grams of white rice. I put a buttload of lettuce. Cause I personally do not track vegetables. I just believe they're more high volume, so you just eat them, and they're really low in calories that you burn them off throughout the day. Threw in a, about two servings of uh, hot sauce, like I think Tabasco sauce, so I gotta track that, about three grams of fat in there. And the Tabasco, a little bit of mustard, and I'm eat, mix this all up and eat it. And obviously, you guys, with the magic water gallon, mix some BCAs in there. So I'll catch you guys after this meal. I'm gonna shower and head straight to Walmart. So I just made it to my local Walmart, uh, picking up some multivitamins for my parents. I got the Equinite one a day ones for myself, picked up some vitamin C. We all need vitamin C in the house, so I was like, might as well get some. We're running low and stuff, so it's useful. Multivitamins and all these supplements, remember, are not a necessity. They're just a helping guide that helps you 
with your progression, with your goals in life. So remember, don't depend on these, but utilize these. So I'll catch you guys when I get home to get my next meal, which is gonna be most likely a shake or even some chicken and rice. So catch you guys when I get home. Okay guys, so right now I'm having a light snack before I head out to my friend's house to get not my car clean because my car is already clean, my brother's car because he likes that shit clean and shiny. Uh, this is a light snack, like I said, about 320 grams of strawberries, nothing really heavy. Uh, I'm probably going to have something else later in the day, so I'll catch you guys in a little bit. Okay guys, so I just arrived home from helping my dad for the second day in a row. Uh, tomorrow I have one more day of helping him out to fully close down his second location for his one of his businesses. Uh, right now I'm having my last meal of the day which is about one scoop of whey protein from obviously my sponsor Outlaw Laboratory. Link down obviously in the description to save you some money. Uh, one cup of Greek yogurt, some spinach. I did about 150 grams of blueberries, one tab two tablespoons of peanut butter, and about five grams of coconut oil to get the last bit of fat in for the day. So that officially caps my macros for today. My really goal is for this cut is to get B on point. And like I said, I'm transferring over to strict dieting for the rest of my, bowl, uh, rest of my cut. So I wanna be on point with my macros. So guys, if you like this video and you like what I'm doing so far, please give me, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel and comment down below on what other kind of videos you want to see What other kind of things you want me to do in this vlog, please put a comment down below without further ado guys I'll catch you guys next time <laughs>